Hey guys, today we're going to look at Black Green Control by John Finkel. Online it's about $165. On paper it's about $215, so relatively inexpensive as of this moment. Now of course prices can spike. So you have a Planeswalker, Nissa. you only have two of her, and you have two Kalidus. So you own four creatures in total, making this extremely removal heavy. Very control your additional creatures, if you will, are the zombies you get off Kalidus. So you have Dead Weight, Duraz, Grasp of Darkness, which has seen play everywhere. It's one of the better pieces of removal right now. Transgress the Mind, Ultimate Price, Infinite Obliteration. <laughs> Interesting card. Normally you see this in the sideboard, but it's good enough because it hits Coco. Four Read the Bones, Free Ruinous Paths, Four Languis. Languis is extremely good in this current meta and one of his strongest cards right now. Four Dark Petition. So this card has seen play in Vintage, it's seen play in Legacy. If you didn't pick up your copies, it's kind of too late. One Nissa's Renewal, a very interesting card. And two Seasons Pass, which is about a $10 card. Crazy, that pulled a bunch of those. Uh, the land base is very stable, uh, free evolving wilds. You see more and more evolving wilds now because um, it does, unless you have a ton of turn one and you're too worried about aggro, evolving wilds is fine. Five forest, uh, four hissing quagmire, one of the better man lands in my opinion. Two land of war waste. I would probably play four, but again, this is John Finkel, so he probably knows what he's doing. And 12 swamps. So the... Land base does not play any of the Innistrad lands, and they do not. It does not play any of the Battle for Zendikar lands outside of Hissing Quagmire. So because it's enemy colors, sideboard, dead weight, probably one of the better cards. Dorad's Clip Wings, Naturalized, Ultimate Price, another Infinite Obliteration. It's horrible when you're a Coco deck, and then they call Coco. Two. Plagues, another Kalidus, and an orb of another orb. I don't know what that card actually is. It costs five. But that's his deck. It's very strong. It's in top eight of Shadows over Innistrad right now. Definitely look forward to uh, making the deck. Great deck. 